a great day for a drive, especially in this 2021 Bronco Big Bend in shadow black with black and gray cloth interior seating for five, four doors, and it has a swing gate in the back, the soft top, which can be folded up or over, and you also have your spare tire back there. It's a 2.3 liter four cylinder EcoBoost engine. It's got a 10 speed automatic transmission and it also is a four x four. It has the terrain management system, which includes GOAT, which means goes on all terrain. So this vehicle is great, whether you're heading down the highway, around the corner or off road. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside in a 2.3 liter four cylinder EcoBoost engine. It's paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission and it's a four x four. Let's have a look inside. In the door and you've got your power locks. The driver's seat has manual lumbar, lumbar and is manually adjusted. And off to the side here, you have the release for your hood, your electronic parking brake, lighting controls. The steering wheel can tilt and telescope. And you've got a nice little running board making it easy to get in. On the face of your steering wheel, you've got this nice buck and bronc. You also have your lane keeping, your volume, cruise control and your media and Dash controls are on this side. Now this is a push start, so my foot's on the brake, keys in the pocket, and we're gonna push the engine start stop button. On your dash, any important messages will appear, and you also have a menu, which I'm gonna get into. So it's just giving me some startup information, and this is because it hasn't been through the shop yet. I grabbed it just after they cleaned it. I wanted to show it to you. Pretty excited to have a first look at this. So the main menu there, my view, you also have your Trip fuel, I'm just fooling around with buttons here. Off-road, navigation, phone, and these all have sub-menus and there's your audio and settings. And there we back up again. So in the center, you've got your four x four, your trash control hazard lights, and you've got your display screen here. When we put the vehicle in reverse, you're gonna see your backup camera view. So the white lines are as you turn your steering wheel, that's the direction you're going. Green, yellow, red is how close you're getting to objects or other vehicles. On your screen here, we're seeing we're in the apps right at the moment, so you can slide through. You've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and so forth. We can also go into navigation. You're gonna see your map. That's gonna come up, and we have our audio, so we can go in there into our sources, AM, FM, Sirius Satellite Radio, as well as Bluetooth. You've got your settings here that you can slide through, so you're gonna see things a couple of times in different places. Just makes it easy for what you want, and then you just touch on it for the different features and uh, um, information that you'd like. There's your owner's manual and if with the Ford Pass Connect you also have your owner's manual in there and this vehicle is equipped with that. Down below is your volume and tuner. You've got dual climate control for both driver and passenger as well as heated seats. Really enjoying that today. AC and max AC and there's your fan. You've also got your rear defrost and there's your front. Down below you've got a USB USB-C and a place to put items and you've got the nice badging here with a serial number on it. And you also have your bucket bronc again on your shifter, which is an automatic select shifter. There's your goat modes. This is your terrain management. So you have different um, functions in there as you dial through. You'll see it on your dash. So there's normal. I'm just turning the dial. Eco, sport. And you notice they have a different look. Slippery, mud ruts, sand. And then you can go back around again. And so this can allow you to have more or less traction as needed, depending on the weather, depending on the road conditions, and where you're heading. So you've got your four by four in the center here with your hill descent. You've got a couple of cup holders, nice little grab handle off to the side here. And you've got your window controls, lock, and your side view mirrors. Your armrest opens up and it is lockable. Lots of room in there and you've got a 12 volt. Off to the side is your glove compartment down below and that nice Bronco badging and you also have an auto dimming rear view mirror. You have your lighting controls, upfitter switches, and this top, and you're gonna see these tabs. I'm not gonna do it right now because doing it with one hand is a little bit challenging. However, very easy, and I have done it by myself, and you just undo the clips and then pull the top over and back down, and you can even unzip the back and take it off. So this is a very versatile vehicle for you. 15 inch wheels, running board, black door handle with intelligent access so when your fob's in close proximity you can lock and unlock the doors and you have your capless easy fuel gas filler in the back now this is a swing gate so you've got your spare tire on the back there and then you see you've got one tow hook down below you also have backup sensors on your bumper and when we want to open up this vehicle just pull the handle your backup camera's back there as well and I can just swing it right open that's what's called swing gate if you remember the um 
vehicles that were station wagons, I had to think of that word, um, they had a swing gate and some of them had the roll down or the power window in the back. Now with this, you can unzipper this and again, quite easy. It's just covered over to protect it and it Velcro's there to keep it in place. And there are clips underneath. I'm just gonna show you that there. So when we release this clips, there's one on the right and the left. And when you release those, then that back piece where the window is actually flips right up. So if you wanted to put some items back there that were maybe bigger, or you just wanted to have that back piece open, you could do that. And then you've got clips and tabs back here to be able to tether things. Off to the side, you've got your lights and your 12 volt. And underneath here, you've got your jack and your funnel as well, and a place for storage, which is quite handy. And then when you wanna close it all up, you just simply swing this back closed. There you go. And then you can just lock it up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. And on your fob, you have remote start. I just thought I'd point out for you that your backup camera is located right here. We just got this vehicle in, so I had to sort of look for it, but I wanted to show that to you. So you get a nice view when you're going in reverse and getting a true picture of what's behind you. Plenty of room in the back here and you've got this mesh to put items in the door with your door handle. Grab handle in the body and there's seating for three in the back with a 60-40 split. You can just bring the headrest down by pushing the button and then you have this clip and it shows that when you pull it, the seat will go down. You now have access to the back cargo area, which is quite roomy. And on the back of the seats are anchors to be able to tether baby seats. And then just give them a push back into the upright position and flip up your headrest. In the back of the front seat is your little pocket there. You can put whatever you like in there. In the center, you've got the controls for the windows and you also have a USB, USB-C, and a 110 outlet. And there's a grab handle in the body, and there's your soft top. Your tire in the rear, your soft top that can be taken off or folded back, privacy glass in the, in the windows, and you have blind spot information system in your side view mirrors, auto high beams, fog lights, tow hooks, and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you, and we'd love to hear your comments.